Hey guys, gonna finish up our surface area and volume video here with part two. So that uh, means we're talking about the ones with bases that are circles. Starting with the cylinder. So the formula for the surface area of the cylinder is, let's see, SA equals 2 pi r squared plus 2 pi r h. Now this is my favorite of all the formulas for surface area because it is my favorite one to try to show you where the heck it comes from. The two pi r squared right here, two pi r squared, that's two circles. Pi r squared is a circle, so two pi r squared would be one, two circles. That's the top of the cylinder and the bottom of the cylinder, the bases of the cylinder. So that gives you that area. Two pi r h gives you the area of this rectangle, which would be like if we took the sides of the cylinder and unrolled it and made it flat. That's this rectangle. Now, I love showing this because I think it's important to understand where it came from. See, 2 pi r. 2 pi r is the circumference of a circle, and it's this distance right here, 2 pi r. And if I unroll it, it's this distance right here, okay, 2 pi r. So that's around that circle. And then h, let's see, different color, h, that's the height of the cylinder, which is this over here, and it's this on the actual cylinder. Hopefully you can see with my color coding. Okay, so I love this formula because it shows me, um, the formula itself shows me exactly where it comes from. This is the area of a rectangle, which is found by multiplying length, which is 2 pi r, times the width of the rectangle, which is the height of the cylinder, and there's two circles, 2 pi r squared. So let's find the surface area of this particular one um, down here that I have the net for. If I was labeling it up here, the radius would be right here, would be 4.4 centimeters. And the height of the cylinder, which is all I need in order to find this, is 7.2 centimeters. So let's start plugging these in. 2 times pi times the radius squared, 4.4 squared, plus 2 times pi times the radius, 4.4, times the height of the cylinder, 7.2. So now I need to multiply this out and then add it all together. Now you know me, I like to wait until the end with the part with the pi. So I'm going to do 4.4 squared and then times 2 and that's 38.72 pi. 38.72 times pi plus. Then I'm going to do the other one, 4.4 times 7.2 times 2. So 4.4 times 7.2 times 2 Oh, it would help if I actually did it correctly on the calculator. Ha ha. 63.36. Switch pen. 63.36. And again, pi. And here's a cool idea. Let's take those two and let's add the decimals together. So 38.72 plus 63.36. 102.08 pi. And now I can actually just multiply that number times 3.14, 320.5312, kind of ran out of space, centimeters squared. So once again, surface area, you are the tricky one. Okay, volume, much easier and faster. Volume equals pi r squared h. And again, we can talk about where this comes from. Let's turn this music down a little, a little worried it's going to be too loud. Let's talk about where this comes from, and I'll use different colors this time. Pi r squared is the area of the circle. So up on my cylinder here, it's this area, the area of our circle base, that area. So I colored it in on my cylinder over there. And then h is, again, just like we had before, the height of the prism. So just like before, it's the area of the base times the height. And then once again, we're like, oh, sweet, volume's easier. So pi times the radius squared times the height. So make life easy. Let's do 4.4 squared first, and then times 7.2, and I get 139.392, and we're gonna multiply that times pi, so times 3.14. 437.69088, Now I didn't say anything about rounding, that's why I wanted to include all the, the digits there. That way if you're playing along at home, like you're supposed to be, you're getting the same answers with, um, hopefully with a calculator. You really should have a calculator for basic homework. 
um, purposes. One, one like the one we have at school. They're only about f five or ten bucks at the store if you can um, try to get one. Otherwise, hopefully you have a calculator at home or you have a cell phone that has a calculator on it. Okay, so that's the cylinder. Surface area, volume. Let's look at the cone. Okay, so a cone, we know, round base comes to a point. If I un unroll it, you get this kind of weird shape here. You get a circle, that's the base part. And then you get this, it's called the lateral area of the cone. And that's the sides of the cone. And it's gonna look like varying degrees of Pac-Man. It might look like a really open, wide open mouth Pac-Man, or it might look like a Pac-Man who's had some issues where like, um, actually, let me try that again, because I did that too. You're, it might actually not even be a Pac-Man. It might be a Pac-Man who's become unfolded, which sounds terrible. Um, poor Pac-Man. Um, but you understand what I'm trying to get at. So you're going to have any variety of what shape that looks like. But the formula is still the same regardless. The surface area formula for your um, cone is... Pi r squared plus pi r l. Now remember on the pyramid, l was the slant height. And on our net, we can see it right here. It's also right here. And on our figure up here, the slant height is this distance right here. Slant height. All right. So the radius of the base, just like before, Radius of the base, and you can see that right on the net down here, radius of the base. So we need an example to be able to find surface area and volume of. So let me draw you one. Okay, hold on. Okay, I drew you a cone. It's not the most beautiful cone I've ever drawn, but it'll do. Okay, so on our cone, the slant height of the cone here is 10. So let's label that slant height. I'll use green again. So L is 10. And the radius of our cone is 6. Notice we have another dimension. Well, we don't need that yet. That's the height of the cone. We're going to need that when we get down here to volume. Okay, that vertical height, not slanted height, slant height, vertical height. So I don't need the 8. I want the slant height. I want the radius. Let's plug the numbers in. Okay, so pi times our radius, which is 6, squared, plus pi times our radius, which is 6, times our slant height, which is 10. So 6 squared is 36. So this is 36 pi plus 6 times 10 is 60. So it's 60 pi. And remember what I like to do. I want to go all the way until I don't have to think all that hard to use my calculator. So these we are going to have to um, round a little here and there. So my, my bacon equals got kind of messy. Let's try that again. When I say bacon equals, I really shouldn't say that. Approximately equals. Yeah, approximately. Rounded off two. So 96 times 3.14 comes out to 301.44. Actually, you know what? Um, we're going to write it. I'm not going to round it because I use 3.14. But remember, this is still approximate. Okay? This could be your exact surface area. And when you get to geometry, you'd leave it like that, which isn't that nice. So when you're in a high school class, you do less work. On the calculator so you'd, you'd leave it like that but in here they want exact and we should probably also include square inches so that would be the square inch surface area of this space on this cone right here so this lateral area which is the part that's sort of standing up and then the base area together 301.44 let's do the volume volume for a cone one third pi r squared so it's just a uh, h, pi r squared h. So it's just like the cylinder, except it has the one third, which is just like the pyramid, except it has the, uh, the one third in the um, pyramid compared to the rectangular prism. So one third pi r squared h. So for this particular, no, well, let's talk about that real quick. So again, that's one third area of the base. So again, we have an area of the base. So that area of the base would be the pi r squared. So this is the area of the base. And then you have the height. I need some other color. Mm -hmm. Okay, you have the height of the prism, which is right here, making a right angle with the base. <clears throat> and then the one-third part, the one-third part has to do with the fact that it comes up to a point. So one-third pi r squared h. Let's plug the numbers in. One-third 
times pi times the radius, which is 6 squared, times the height, which is 8, not 10. 10 is the slant height. You want the vertical height. Because in using 10, you're not multiplying that area of the base through all the way up through the prism. You'd be going higher because that slant height is longer than the vertical height. All right, so let's think about the order we're going to do this in. I'm going to do 6 squared, which is 36. So I have 1 third times pi times 36 times 8. Look for simple stuff. How about 1 third times 36? That's 1 third of 36, so that's 12. 12 times 8 is 96. Making sure of my math next to me. So 96 pi. Well, isn't that crazy? It's got the same surface area and volume. That's crazy town. I just didn't expect that at all. So 301.44, but this time it's inches cubed. Inches cubed. All right, so there you have surface area and volume of the cylinder and the cone. These require practice. Luckily, the pyramids and cones are in one um, IXL scale, and the cylinders and the prisms are in another IXL scale. So if you have time after you finish this video, take some time to practice. All right, well, I will see you guys in class.